When I was younger, and much more stupid than I am now, I hated One Piece, mostly thanks to that god-awful 4Kids dub that was aired on Toonami. Completely ignorant to how awesome the source material was in comparison, it was years before I finally sat down and watched it on recommendation. I may not be up to date, because it has roughly a billion episodes and I have other things to do such as eat and sleep, but I've bitten a fair chunk out of it, and the taste? The taste is good. The manufacturer Mega House produces a prolific line of One Piece scale figures known as the Portrait of Pirates range, and we have one of these very figures to have a gander at today. Older brother of the series protagonist and easily one of my favourite characters, it's Podgast the Ace! I have no idea why I said his name like that, but I just thought, you know what, bugger it, I'm gonna roll with it. I've had this guy for a long time now, since before I took figure collecting seriously, so I apologise in advance for any blemishes you might notice during this review, as he's been knocked around in transit a couple of times. One thing that's immediately noticeable about this guy can be said for all Portrait of Pirates figures across the board, and that's the outstanding sculpt quality, giving the line a fantastic sense of realisation. It's like... BAM! He's looking very sure of himself there, which is probably due to the fact that he's better than you, and he knows it. His hat is removable, and if you don't like the smug look he's giving you, you can show him his boss by RIPPING HIS HEAD OFF! This serves no real purpose though other than easier adjustment of his necklace and morbid satisfaction however. Overall, the paint job is simple yet effective, and this highlights the insane level of detail on the skin tones and shading. It makes it really tough to not be drawn into his immense six pack. I mean, if I, if I was a lady right now, I'd probably have broken out into a sweat already. But, but only if I was a lady. Stop looking at me like that. He has his distinguishing tattoos on his arm and back, the corrected ace and the symbol of the Whitebeard Pirates highlighting his affiliation. They've been replicated in a crisp detail that is usually expected on clothing more than on skin, but because of that they stand out and look much better than if they were just painted on any other way, or, I don't know, drawn on with a biro. Despite the relatively simple paint job that I mentioned earlier, every necessary detail is still covered, down to the buckles on his boots and the freckles on his face. Who would have the right mind to call themselves Hiken, or Fire Fist, without a fist of fire, you ask? No one. Which is precisely why Mr Ace here comes with just that. Just be careful with this, as, like practically all Portrait of Pirates accessories, there are no pegs or anything to hold it in place. It's all down to positioning, which can make it a little fiddly at times. Also, fire is hot. As well as his hat, necklace and flame, which were all removable, Ace has some fixed accessories which add great detail and flair to the overall spectacle, my personal favourite being the log pose. Portrait of Pirates figures all have their own unique bases, but in a standardised fashion. Ace's is no different. I love these as they display the name of the character and the name and logo of whichever affiliation they belong to. As well as this, they are in a colour that complements the character. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, as, as in this instance we have a clear orange, but this one simply says Shirohige, also known as Whitebeard Pirates, followed by his logo, followed by Portgasty Ace. Lovely. Since Ace here, the Portrait of Pirates series has only increased in quality over recent years. He is the earliest one that I have, but easily my favourite. I do have some later ones, mostly from the Strong World line, but I wanted to show you this guy first to give you a benchmark for later ones that I may showcase on the channel. Because, you know, sometimes the old classics are by far the best. Portrait of Pirates figures all have their own unique bases, but in a standardised fashion. Aces is no different. I love these, as they display the name of the character and the name and logo of whichever affiliation they belong to. As well as this, they are in a colour that complements the character. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, as in this instant we have a clear orange, but this one simply says Shirohige, which is also known as Whitebeard, Pirates, followed by Hair, and some magical...